Hey YouTube, what's going on guys? And I know what you're probably thinking if you're a regular uh, Well, first off, gotta balance the camera a little bit better But if you're a regular, you probably noticed I didn't uh, do an upload yesterday. That's my normal schedule and um, it, This past weekend So my wife was at her little sister's bachelorette party which set up for like perfect conditions really for for working in the garage but I just had kind of one of those weekends where um, first off parts I was expecting didn't get in on time so that was one of it secondly um, just just little things were falling through and um, had a couple failures too on on, <laughs> on Saturday and, and I just didn't like um, it, it didn't end up being good footage I, I didn't really want to share so it's kind of um, I don't think depression's the right word. That's a little too, I think that's a little too extreme. Um, but I just, you know, when it came time to editing a video and putting it together, I just didn't really like what I had. So uh, to make up for it, to substitute, I'm gonna do this this video here, just kind of vlog style, to keep you guys up to date. Um, now I did get some work done actually on Saturday. Uh, I did test out the foot throttle. I think that turned out pretty good. Um, but the, uh, I kept throwing the chain, even with the chain tensioner on, and, uh, I think I figured out it was actually the, um, uh, my, my walnut chain tensioner that I had. I, I think I'd, I'd worn through it so much that I was starting to create a ridge, like, I don't want to say this, the two sides of the chain link were deeper than the middle, and I think the middle was getting, would get hung up on that and pop it off so so then I sanded that down well then that made it uh, I sanded it down too far which made the chain too loose so now I think I have to remove a link or something which that won't be bad that'll be fine um, I did re-gear the go-kart and uh, that's what I was trying to test out to see um, but anyway it just just things like that I <laughs> it wasn't gonna be good video so um, lastly I just wanted to oh not lastly okay one other thing so garage gang members been tossed around the idea um this was one of the good things we did do on saturday had a little phone chat with hodgepodge garage and we started to um kind of master plan or we were trying to uh strategically plan if you will or come up with ideas and uh was thinking about maybe doing a uh, so i'm gonna lob this out here see what your guys' feedback is see if there's any interest but um doing a doing a, a meet and greet i know you know with greg's garage they he used to do the extravaganza i think he's kind of moved on past that but kind of thinking of doing something like that similar uh we'll call it uh the midwest chapter if you will or the plains states chapter of the garage gang kind of meet up greet up kind of thing um just throwing an idea out there i'm thinking like the weekend of september 24th so let me know if that works on your calendars. Mark that down. And kind of thinking about meeting up somewhere around Oklahoma City. Uh, my thoughts are there's a classic car uh, parts depot. I don't remember what it's called. Right off of I-35. I think it'd be kind of a cool place to go. Um, you're not too far from Route 66. So I think we could maybe meet up somewhere um, and cruise Route 66 for a couple miles and maybe end up like in Bricktown or something, and there's they got a microbrewery there. Um, so kind of thinking of like a get together, maybe maybe for us traveling longer, you know, get down Friday night, kind of do a, a soft meet up, meet up, greet up kind of thing, and then in the morning go out for breakfast, cruise uh, Route 66, maybe go to that auto parts store, kind of make a day out of it. And we can all go our separate ways. Um, again, this is just a 30,000 foot view idea. Uh, so, so give me your feedback. Tell me if you think that sounds like a fun time or not. There's a really awesome architectural, um, you know, it's a gas station. It's called Pops, P-O-P-S, and they have a bunch of sodas, soda fountain, and I think they've got um, awesome breakfast and stuff like that. So I'm thinking maybe that would be a good start point on Saturday. Um, just to the, we'll call it, east of Edmond, Oklahoma, and, um, but anyway, it's built to, look it up, Google it, P-O-P-S, uh, on Route 66, and it's, um, it's designed to be, like, a vintage, like, you know, 50s, 
mid-century modern kind of gas station so pretty cool um again give me your feedback see if you think you like that and then lastly i want to leave you guys with a little bit of a mail call I was actually wanting to, to wait to do this a little later because I'm expecting another sticker to come in the mail, but it's just, it's it hasn't come, and, and I think, I feel like I owe it to um, to some of these guys to turn around their stuff quicker than that, so uh, we'll just do a one offer, and uh, we want to talk about Chaos Garage. Uh, if you're not already following Chaos Garage, I mean, it's 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 more of what, what we do here in the Garage Gang. It's a classic channel in that regards. Uh, got a little bit of ATV quad action in there, but also what I'm most stoked about is they're going to get back on a 1978 Firebird Formula build. And, um, you know, you know me, or maybe you don't, maybe, <laughs> but uh, I have a thing for these, these, uh, call them the forgotten years of Detroit uh, muscle cars, you know, the muscle car era, the oil embargo, all that stuff. Uh, 1973 through about 1979, it took Detroit a while to kind of recover from the oil embargo, and the, the muscle car era was dead. But I think there are actually so these these cars built between 73 and 79, I think often get a, a bad rap as just ugly. And yes, there are a lot of ugly cars from that <laughs> from that era. But a lot of them, it's it's really just those those dorky, nasty five mile an hour bumpers. But of all of those cars, of all that generation, that time, those six years, Pontiac was one of the few that did a really good job keeping the proportions right. And that obviously the 77 Firebird Trans Am is, you know, the iconic Burt Reynolds smoking the Bandit car. But even their 73 and 76 model were good looking cars. But 77 and 78. Are kind of that same or the same body style I love that nose um, 79 and 80 81 those when they go back to the flat flat nose and just the recess for each headlight don't like that as much but anyway pretty stoked chaos garage I'll leave a link below and we'll go get them up on the toolbox um, but yeah I love those 78 formulas all right, so there we are, Chaos Garage, right next to Rusty Glove Box, Mr. Mach 1, in the open air garage, right above Hodgepodge Garage, Shade Tree Mechanic, and Coasty Reed. Classics, guys, check them all out. Uh, thoughts and prayers to 231 Flash still, as he embarks on that next next journey. Um, then we got Dwayne Whitaker up top there, and the frame off. So, till next time, peace out.